Complete! C. Complete! C. Complete! C. All right, I know you're tired, I know you're sore. All that kind of stuff is hot. We don't have time for any of that, all right? This is the official organized warm-up right here. It's official. It's got my stamp of approval on it. Okay, roll over on your belly. Lift one leg up to the sky. Five on each leg. Go. Okay, 50%. Go. 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 Raise your hand if you feel really, really comfortable using blocks. The emphasis today is to help us find that post position. The position that we were feeling on the wall, you know, that nice ankle, knee, thigh, lock out the hip, lock out the, th the quad, the thigh, calf, everything. That's really our goal from step one to step two to step three. The key is finding that position from the bottom. So I'm gonna hold her as she's getting in the blocks. I'm right between her shoulder blades, holding her up. She's gonna squat down to a quarter squat, freeze there. She's gonna trust me. I'm gonna bring her forward. Ready, set, go. Hold it. Good. And from that position, all you're doing is pushing. That's it. Big, 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 big emphasis on pushing off the front pedal. All right? Making use of the pedal. That's what the blocks are for. Because believe it or not, acceleration patterns, mechanics, they don't change whether you have blocks or they don't. All the blocks are doing are adding leverage. In the relays, it's important to understand that each person has unique responsibilities, okay? So the incoming runner has certain responsibilities, the outgoing runner has different responsibilities, okay? And so when you, when you, if you understand that, then you know what you've got to do, okay? Uh, who could tell me what the role of the incoming runner is? And the, we're talking about the 4x1. Go ahead. Say again? To hand up and hand the next person. Okay, that's one response for the incoming runner. Okay, what else? So, when you're coming in, okay, you have to judge. You got to be an astute judge of when to call for the handoff to happen. Okay, so the incoming runner has to be judging how fast the outgoing runner is going, where they're at in space, and when to call for the baton to get in the baton. Okay, so let's let's give it a try. Let's go down the line. Okay, so the person in front, you guys pump your hands. Then you call it, then you put it in. So we're going to go, the person in the back, let's carry it in your, in your right hand and give to the left. Okay, go ahead. Stick. That's not loud. Much, much louder. Stick. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. Okay, you guys? Stick. Okay, you moved it a little bit early. Wait till you see his hand all the way back and steady and then give it. So you may call it, he's putting his hand back, wait till it's there and then put it in. Okay, try again. Stick. Much better. Okay. Stick. Okay. So okay, depending on which leg you are, you don't change your foot position because those are your power positions. You change your hand position based on what leg you are. Everyone understand? All right, guys. Any questions? All right, let's go. Please! Complete! 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 Complete!